morning y'all happy wednesday so i'm about to or i'm getting ready right now for my appointment i'm not gonna lie y'all this mirror is reflecting i am nervous i wasn't really nervous up until a few minutes ago but um i'm nervous i i don't know i know everything is gonna go well but i've also just had this little part of me that's also like if it's god's will that if it doesn't go well i need to be able to prepare myself but i know everything's gonna <laughs> go well i'm just really nervous that's all um mason got up really early today when kendall left for work so when it was time for me to do her hair because i started to like get ready around 8 30. my appointment's at 11 um but amari and malachi is coming with us so um i am gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna drive to my appointment but what was i saying yeah so i started trying to do her hair at 8 30 and she was having a fit so i gave her some milk and she is knocked out on our bed right now so i just got done putting on my makeup and my hair which it's very hot right now i'm not even gonna lie to y'all and then i'm about to get her dressed so we can we just pulled up i did a lot of praying on the way over here not that i haven't already been praying before let me stop before i pull my wig out but you know just getting them last minute prayers in and just hoping for the best so amari couldn't come because she has some last minute things to do which is fine Maybe I just kind of needed to do this by myself anyways. I, I don't know. But I'm about to go in there, so let's see what happens. Hey, y'all. So, first of all, it's raining like hell. And Mason and I just got rained on completely. Like, my whole, <laughs> my whole wig is wet. So, it didn't go well. Um, I had to get all my tears out. I had to speak to my mom and Kendall before I came on the camera. Um... It didn't go well pretty much i have to come back in it's supposed to be a week but y'all know a week from now is christmas i'm supposed to come back on january 2nd and get a more in-depth ultrasound so don't choke yourself baby so we had the ultrasound and there hasn't really been more, much growth so last time what i thought was a baby in the sack she said it was it was just a sack in a sack which i'm confused whatever so we looked and this time she said she saw something but it doesn't look like it grew from two weeks ago so she's saying that in her professional opinion it's not good she said basically i'm gonna give you two she said i can give you two options you can basically agree <clears throat> excuse me agree to terminate it right now or <clears throat> have a more in-depth ultrasound and try to figure out what's going on sorry y'all my lips are so dry um try to have a more in-depth ultrasound try to figure out what's going on and then I asked her in her professional opinion or in her sense, you know, how many people has she seen that's done this more in-depth ultrasound and something come out of it? She said pretty much slim to none. And I said, okay. So, this is what it is. I know somebody out here is going through this. I know somebody's been through this. And God forbid, but I know eventually other people are going to come to this circumstance. So, so I didn't cry and this whole, whatchamacallit, the rain then wiped my makeup out completely. I look mess. But, um, I try to brace myself for this, but I pretty much knew last time it just wasn't sounding right, you know. I pretty like I said I braced myself for this I knew it was a possibility and I know you shouldn't speak those things into existence but let's be real a lot of women have miscarriages especially in their first eight weeks of pre pregnancy so I knew this was something that was going to happen and I knew since the last time with the ultrasound that didn't go too well so yeah mm. all I want to say is obviously we can come back in two weeks and you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. So we can come back in two weeks and everything could just be awesome and the baby could just be going slowly. Or we could be coming back in two weeks and if I already haven't passed the baby, more than likely I'm gonna have to have a DNC. But I just wanna tell everybody to continue keeping us in prayers because regardless of what happens, we're about to go through a lot. And 
we would just appreciate y'all prayers. I'm not to cry. I'm trying to hold it all together. Especially because I got my baby girl in the backseat, but um, it just felt a little bit embarrassing walking out of the... First of all, before she left, because I was trying to hold it in and keep it together, she said, here are the tissues. She already knew. I cried after, it's like the second she stepped out the room and I'm trying to like keep my face together for when I walk out, but my eyes were red. Walking out to the like, you know, the waiting room, everybody was looking at me. You could kind of tell they knew what was going on, but it's life. So, you know, if Mason is the only baby we ever have, we're more than happy. If we have more children down the road, I'm gonna be scared as hell because this is not fun But whatever happens happens. So hey y'all so I was gonna end the vlog earlier, but I'm back So I'm not gonna lie. I did a lot of crying <clears throat> I spoke to Kendall and my mom and I cried but as of right now, I'm okay. I'm fine. I just did a lot of thinking and praying when I was on the way home. So I prayed and I said to God, I'm not gonna question this. I'm not gonna ask why. I know there's a reason. I may never know the reason and that's okay. I'm, I'm not gonna, although I'm gonna be upset about it, although I'm hurt about it, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna sit here and question God, okay? That's just, that's just what it is. And then I, I just thought to myself about what's going on because I know y'all all are gonna ask. My labs have never been drawn so I have no idea where my HCG was, was before or what it is now or anything like that. What she told me this time around was that she didn't even wanna do labs because she didn't want me to get charged. Even though at this point you might as well just charge me because I want, you know, I wanna know what's going on. So we did the ultrasound and before she even, cause we did a vaginal one, before she even put anything where it needed to be placed, she said to me, you know, last time you came in, we checked, you were supposed to be here for your eight week. You were supposed to be here for your eight, or not eight week, seven week and six day ultrasound. And you told me you had irregular, excuse me, you told me you had irregular periods. Um, so, we did wait two weeks, now we're expecting you to be seven weeks and four days. I said yes. So, like I, I just kind of feel, and I'm not, I'm not putting the blame on her or anything like that. I just feel like as soon as she put it in, it was just like, even though I myself saw what she saw, I just feel like right then and there she was just like, oh, this, this ain't happening. But anyhow, she went on to tell me I had two options like I explained to y'all earlier. And... I don't know something about this whole two option thing and then the whole fact of basically she told me to come back in a week and uh, we will check with the um, ultrasound I guess the ultrasound technician or the ultrasound expert she told me the ultrasound machine that she's using isn't like the best one of course it can detect things but it isn't like the more in-depth one and by the way this isn't an ultrasound tech that's doing my ultrasound this is a OB by the way so she told me to come you know she gave me those two options she told me basically terminate you know do all that or I can come back in a week and this is my thing and no I'm not sitting here um I'm, I'm split right down the middle so I I'm not set on anything <sighs> you know she gave me the option to pretty much go ahead and things right now and just go on by my day or you know, wait it out for that week and come back. And here's my thing. I just feel like even though she's not very optimistic or she, she's not very hopeful about what's going to happen in that at the next ultrasound, I just feel like if there wasn't a reason to go to that, we wouldn't be going to it. You know what I'm trying to say? Because I feel like if any doctor was set in stone, and I don't know if she was just saying this to make me feel better or to give me some type of hope, but I just feel like if if it was a done deal, the doctor would have been told me like, okay, this is what we have to do to get things going instead of giving me that extra option. Um, I, like, I don't know if I told y'all earlier, but we did see a little bit more than what we saw the first time. So that 
you know, we're just not clear what we see because what she said last time she didn't see like anything in there, which I thought was something in there. I don't know that I wish she would give me a printed out ultrasound so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. But she said she saw something different this time, but it doesn't look like it's growing. So she told me to come back in a week and I'm sorry that this is all over the place. I'm just trying to get to my point. So I went up to the, um, appointment center the receptionist and a week's time is supposed to be like december 27th i believe um so she was like oh we don't have anything for that and then she was like literally the only thing i have available for a while is january 2nd which is in two weeks at 10 a.m so i said okay i'll take that my thing is i'm just thinking to myself already number one again why would she give me that option if she didn't really think anything was going to come of it? Why waste resources? And second of all, it's crazy how next week isn't available, but this two weeks from now. The point that I'm trying to make is I'm going to keep hope alive, but I think I've gotten my tears out. I think I've gotten it out. So if it is, if it is going to get to the point where obviously this pregnancy is going to end, Obviously, I'm going to be sad about it and I'm probably still going to cry about it. But I think I'm at the point right now where I get it. I, I, I understand. And if this is a pregnancy that's going to continue, wow. You know what I'm saying? Either way, I think I, I've gotten to the point. It, it was just a little bit upsetting hearing that. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. It's a reason why we're going through this and I'm okay with that. I hope all of this made sense. The whole time while I'm thinking about this, the story of Adana, I think her name is Adana, Adana and David is just running in my mind. If you have not seen that video, I am going to link it down below. But anyways, I'm just going to ask y'all to keep us in our in your prayers. Obviously, we're going through a lot. Um, the next two weeks are going to be a lot. Um, I don't know. Anything could happen between today and two weeks. I, I don't know, y'all. But, of course, I will keep y'all updated. And I'm probably going to put this video up today because I know y'all are very curious as to what's going on. But, anyways, I'll talk to y'all later.